There's an article on CNN's homepage today about how this woman can't hug her nephews because Americans aren't vaccinated. It's a very bizarre article, and it's obviously driving families apart. So I'm here with Reina Del Sord, who is a victim of this, and I wanted her to share her story with you guys. All right, so I would like to know what people think about what I'm about to tell you. I have kids, I have, they're two, they're twins, they're six years old. And um, I'm a single mom. I, um, when COVID happened, I couldn't work, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't, I'm going to school too. Because they were home with me all the time. I mean, I, obviously I love my children, but anybody that did online um, school knows that basically you cannot do anything else. So I decided that I would take them to my home country of Costa Rica to stay with my parents. So what I started doing was um, that they would, you know, they live in Costa Rica now and I fly weekly. I fly to Costa Rica from Friday to Monday and then I come to Florida and I work from Monday through Friday. And then I go back to Costa Rica and I, I'm with my kids every weekend. My parents got vaccinated and they are, um, they watch TV all the time. And I'm not going to say they're liberals, okay, because they live in Costa Rica. They have nothing to do with politics, they, but their way of thinking is pretty much like they're Democrats, right? So um, they obviously disagree with the way I think, but they're still taking care of my kids, you know, and I love them for that. I mean, they're my parents. My children are with my parents. They're never going to be with anybody else that loves them that much. So that's what I have been doing. The only problem is that I have a brother, an older brother, who lives in Portland, Oregon. I think I already, what, by saying that he lives in Portland, all you people know like what he's like. Anyway, my brother and his wife, who are also um, vegan musicians and live in Portland, don't, don't agree with many of my, my life choices. And they went to Costa Rica for like three weeks to spend time with my parents. Here's the problem. My kids live with my parents in you know our big house in Costa Rica. There, there's plenty of room there, by the way. And they all called me. I was gonna come in next week. And they called me and they told me, hey, by the way, please don't come. And I'm like, why? I need to go see my children because you're not vaccinated. And we need to protect our two-year-old. So I said, you know what, I, I, am not, I am not a fighter, I'm a lover, right? It's their problem. I mean, obviously it's hurting me a lot because I cannot see my children because there is not, I mean, I cannot just bring them back. Like I would be fucked, like I couldn't work, I couldn't go to school, I mean, they're there, like they're good there for a little while. I, I, yeah, I have to go get them eventually, you know, but I cannot do it right now, there's no way. So I said, okay, don't worry, I won't go. When are you guys leaving? Um, We're leaving on August 12th, so, you know, feel free to come anytime after. But here's the deal. Anybody that knows uh, statistics, right? And they... So I go like deep inside of me. Trust me, I didn't say any of this to my family. Okay, because I, I am, I am actually a tolerant and peaceful person, like all you know conservatives are, right? Because we are the party of. Tolerance. Oh no, we are not. Wait, we are not the par party of tolerance, right? We are not the party of compassion. I forgot. So that's the situation. Now I cannot see my children for three weeks because I'm not vaccinated. How about that? Okay, here's one thing. Um, yeah, he's from Portland. They're vegan, they're musicians, they're artists. I am an artist. 
I am a cello player. I grew up in the National Symphony Orchestra playing. And I think probably 90% of everybody that's a, an artist or, or they're, you know, maybe a dancer, whatever, they're, they're very liberal in, their, in the way they think and their politics. I would like to know if there are any artists out there, out there looking at your channel that are conservative, that experience what I experience, which is that your friends, they shut you down. They unfriend you, they block you, um, and I would say 90% of my friends were musicians, artists, and all of that, and now they are totally, I'm, I'm cast away completely. And you start to feel really lonely, that you don't fit in. Uh, my two best friends stopped yes. talking to me. They blocked me on Facebook and Instagram. And um, that happened last year. So, I don't know, when you are, when you have been your whole life with these true people, right? And then something suddenly became a really big issue for you because you saw what they were doing um, to the country and to morals and values and the way that they're destroying America, then it, now it becomes really important. It, I didn't used to think about politics before, never, never, never. And now, um, but hey, now I met a beautiful crowd of people too, you know, like Adam, that, um, I think that they are um, aware of what's, what's going on. So I'm happy for, for you and your, uh, your friendship and everybody else that I have met. Now drinking coffee for dramatic effect. Okay, we just got our food. Um, and Adam got his eggs so he likes his women over easy and I was supposed to get over hard but they gave me scrambled anyway uh, here's a question should I get vaccinated should I get vaccinated so I can see my kids or should I wait it out two weeks until my brother leaves Costa Rica so then I can go back to see my kids and nobody, you know, is going to have an issue. I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait the two weeks because, to be honest with you, um, I, I'm not going to put that in my body. Sorry. And I, um, I speak to my kids daily. We are always uh, in touch. And they, they will be okay for a little bit. Um, some people have, are vaccinating their children. Did you know that? Some people are vaccinating their teenagers and things like that. I would never do that to my children. All right, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit that bell button for the subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs>so this is an example of the liberal mainstream brainwash and it's breaking families apart thought that was interesting for you guys to hear if you guys are having any stories too like that drop them in the comments we'd love to hear them be free my sheeple